shooting investigation right now in South LA. Desmond Shaw is live in Sky 2 with more on this. Des? Well, Pat, we can confirm that someone has been killed in this uh, shooting and a crash on the uh, 11,500 block of Alvaro Street in South LA. You see LAPD down here investigating. They've set up a lot of police tape. It sounds like someone was driving when they were shot while their vehicle was in motion and then they crashed. It was the driver of this van right here. They ran up against a tree. That person has died of their uh, injuries here on the scene. You see LAPD, they're looking for bullet casings and other evidence, talking to witnesses. They have a huge crime scene set up here. Someone killed uh, in a shooting. Uh, here in South LA. Pat, back to you now in the studio. All right, thanks for that, Dice. Yeah, what's good? What's up? What's up? We got another one. R.I.P. Johnny Thomas, a.k.a. Peanut. One man was found fatally shot, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds behind the wheel of his car near the Nixon Gardens on Friday evening. The incident was reported to the authorities just around 10.45 p.m. where they found the victim dead on the scene. Each project in Watts has been a consistent war zone for the last 50 years. Everybody who either loved Watts and cared about the city and wanted to see the city grow and prosper as one, them people are either dead or they fled out the city. The love been gone. Now it's just a cycle of hate getting passed down. For the last 50 plus years, it became like a norm. It became regular that the shit just became cool. This lifestyle has been a downfall of the black community. We used to have over 24, 25 black communities. Now it's only three, four left. We definitely lost Watts. Like the shit is crazy. The black business owned in Watts is sad. We went from being all the homeowners in Watts to barely even owning any houses now. It's time to be your own individual. Niggas been hanging in crowds for 50 plus years and look at the community. When evolving as a man and becoming a better person, you don't need nobody to go on that journey with you. A lot of people so used to doing things with people that they can't do nothing by themselves or less the homie with them or something. I was born by myself, I'm gonna die by myself. Like that's my mentality. And when you have that mentality, you're going to definitely move smarter, especially when you got people that rely and depend on you. And with you out the picture, it's going to be ugly for them. But no matter what, don't let nobody get you down. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Always stay positive. But on the same token, always stay alert. It's definitely still hope. It don't matter your religion. Long as you put God first. Like I always say, I don't know much about the case. I'm just here for the message. R.I.P. Rest up. May God be with your family. Rest up, OG.